Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the add-on plugin, Custom Learning Path. Now, a custom learning path is based on the e-learning concept of learning paths, which governs that there is no fixed curriculum or pattern for e-learning. A user can achieve an objective through various ways. So you can learn more about this concept uh, online which state about the benefits of, of learning paths in e-learning. So let's get started. So in WPLMS you can find learning paths in LMS or learning paths and here in much like a course if you create or edit any any learning path you will see that we have a title section a description section just like posts then we have a learning path type taxonomy and you can set the featured image and then we have learning path steps and learning path settings if we quickly go through all these the first four are basically for the design of the learning path I mean you can use you can enable and use visual composer as well for creating your learning path templates and you can totally hide the title featured image and use the WPLMS CLP short codes for displaying the steps in the learning path so this is a sample learning path created using visual composer so as you can see I have placed the learning path steps in a smaller section and added the enroll now and button in the very top so you can place all these sections using visual composer easily so next is the certificates and badges so important point to note is that in WPLMS the learning path are are basically tracked using points so every step for every step you assign the points and when a user finishes the step he gets awarded with the points when the points accumulated by the user in the learning path reaches the certificate or the badge level the user is awarded with the badge or the or the certificate and you can award more than one certificate or badge to the user for a single learning path as well so next is the learning path complete points so this defines the the number of points at which the learning path will be assumed as complete since this is about custom learning path there are more than one ways to complete the learning path so next is the most important which is the learning path steps now here you can see that we can add steps by clicking on add step and we can add the title the description we can select a featured image and then we have the select step so here you can set which at which step you want to award points to the user so for example if you want to award points when the course when the user finishes a course and and finishes a selected course for example software training so you can set that the step is course evaluated for student you can select the courses you can select a course category as well so in that case the user will have to finish any course from the selected category and then you can set the points which will be awarded to the user when she finishes the course so now if we view this learning path so you can see that we have the steps here and the number of points required to complete this learning path is 300 which means you can complete the learning path by taking any of the two steps and you will get the certificate and the badge of the of this learning path so to enroll in a learning path user simply needs to click on the enroll now button so once enrolled it will check if you have achieved 
following uh, steps which are required for the learning path now you can simply add a link for the learning path so here we can add a link And now if we reload we see that we have been awarded the points so important point to note is that for this learning path the the complete points were set as 500 and when we finished two courses we got awarded the 100 and 200 points simultaneously so our course progress became so our learning path progress became 60 percent and you can straight away check the learning path in your profile as well and in the profile you can click on the learning paths and here you will see the learning paths in which the user is enrolled in and whatever achievements the badges and the certificates the user will get in the my achievements tab and here for certificates you can simply click on the certificate and view the certificate so that's it from wplms tutorials thanks for watching